What's up guys, Cedar51, and I'm sorry this video is a bit late. Um, it's only the day after, but still, I kind of want to do it the day of. But, yesterday, by the time I got home from doing everything, I'd forgotten to make the video before I took everything to go downstairs to get it washed, so. But it's a good thing, because I got a couple things today that I wanted to show off in this video, so it all worked out for me. Um, so. Normally I'd go like in order of when I got stuff and all that, but I'm pretty sure things here. I'm just yeah, but uh, I wanted to show these off for today. So my Nana likes to go out, um, always on the day after Christmas, go to Hallmark and go through like what they have on sale and the ornaments. So. We were over there yesterday, and I was picking, I had like the catalog, and I just like writing down the ones I would want. And so she, when she went there, she remembered. So first, I got Frosty the Snowman, a warm Frosty hug ornament. Whoops, that one off. Um, 20th in the Star Wars series, Han Solo from The Force Awakens. Do you want to build snowman frozen? And my favorite, the Rogue One commemorative ornament, Death Trooper. So happy to get this because I got like the small Death Trooper that they put out this year. But um, she went two stores, found on the second one, thankfully. So got the Death Trooper. And then on a well, Wednesday, my phone upgrade was up, so my Nana went out and bought me the iPhone 7 Plus. Got great price with the trade, and because they were offering a trade and deal till uh, a great trade and deal till the Christmas Eve, so went out, got that. It's currently what I'm recording on because I'm pretty sure it's the best quality out of my cameras. So then, Friday before Christmas Eve, with exchange gifts, we did Christmas with my brother and sister-in-law. Because uh, he was going to spend Christmas Eve with us, but he was staying at his wife's house Chris the night before Christmas Eve because she hadn't seen her family since Thanksgiving, which we'd seen my brother Thanksgiving. Or no, she hadn't seen her family since September. We saw them just before Thanksgiving, so we understood. So we decided to go ahead and exchange gifts. Then he bought me the Social Outcast shirt because he like saw my WWE shop uh, wish list, so he went through it and got me the Social Outcast shirt. The only bad thing was that like I put just any size that would work above or like under an XL and it happened to be a small. So I decided to go ahead and make it a cutoff because I'm not fitting into a small ever again. And the Triple H, no idea what the shirt's called, but just these nice Triple H shirt. The nice hammer on the back. I really dig this shirt. So, and it was one of the like weird underrated shirts. Like, I didn't even realize I'd put it on my uh, wish list, but it's so cool that I don't mind. And then he bought me um, the TLC ornament set and got the ladder, chair, table. So, those went on my tree. As soon as he gave it to me. And then Christmas Eve night. It's all about. Fine. The first year my mom decided to get us like. Pajamas. So I got. Storm Imperial. And uh, the Stormtrooper. With Santa hats on them. Because. That's freaking. It's Stormtroopers with Santa hats on. It's freaking sweet. And. Then just the shirt. To go along with that. I picked the shirt out. Uh, 
a Death Star shirt because I was going to see Rogue One like before that, so I was like, okay, um, Death Star shirt, sweet. Um, and that was my New Year's Eve stuff, so, Christmas morning, it was great. Some reason I think I'm missing something in here, but don't think so. Because there's some stuff added in this, so go check my Twitter. I'll link, like, the Twitter picture I posted below, just in case. But, uh, I am missing is what I ordered yesterday, which was a Adobe Shop order. They're running sale on some things. Like, ornaments were already marked down. So I got me some ornaments, but I also got, um, I got three ornaments, I'm trying to remember who all I, I remember who all I got now, but, uh, and then there was, like, another item that was big that I really wanted, and they had, like, a tiered sale for, like, percent off, like, 20% off any order, 25 off 20 or more, 25 or more, maybe, um, and then 30 off 50 or more, so I was like, okay, so I got decent percent off of this um, thing. So yeah, expect that unboxing sometime this week. Um. So yeah, stocking stuff pretty much. I'm gonna show off first. I got Hershey's peppermint bark bells, just like the peppermint candy with the spring of dark chocolate on the bottom. I uh, didn't realize it was dark chocolate and like. My parents didn't realize it was dark chocolate because it doesn't say there anywhere. But, so, they're not my favorite, but I don't mind them. I mean, I still love peppermint anything. Which is why I got candy cane uh, pretzel flips. And then, I had two of these Hershey's candy cane. <coughs> <coughs> I might do that a lot through the video, I apologize. Um, here's these King King chocolate bars, but, uh, I ate one yesterday. And then, uh, mostly got my stocking, but it was something I got from my Nana. And it's basically a stocking item. A Star Wars blue raspberry cane cane. Came with stickers, but I already put them on my desk. Um, oh yeah. And I got, I know what I'm missing. It's on the floor behind me. But, uh, at least I remembered it. Some Star Wars, or er, Star Wars, Ohio State dress socks. I saw something like before this that made me think of Star Wars. But uh, Star Wars, or I said that again, damn. This is a gun video. Uh, Star Ohio State dress socks, it's cool. It's got the Buckeye Leafs on and the stripes. Uh, let's go on with that Ohio State theme real quick. Uh, Urban Meyer above the line. Been wanting this since last Christmas when it came out. Uh, just never found it dirt before then. And then mainly Christmas is the time I get books. So, but this year I did have two other books on my wish list, like all up until October. That I was like, okay, get me for Christmas. But then I ended up getting them before Christmas when I had surgery, just to do while I was recovering. Which was the Ahsoka Tano book. And then Tim Tebow's new book. So. Um, keeping on the book theme. The WWE Encyclopedia of Sports Entertainment. The Definitive Guy. Um, everybody about, like talks about the encyclopedia. About how it's the best thing to take to any type of convention access because you're always going to find it's something you can get almost anybody to sign. So, never had the original. I, w I mean, I once had. I, like, rented it from, or I guess checked out of the library once. Like, local library. And then, like, read it a bunch. Like, read a lot of the <laughs> in entries. Never even saw the second one. So, when I got this done, which I'm so thankful for because I've never even really talked to my mom about it. Like, it was on my Amazon wish list, but she didn't go back far enough to see it, so. It, she got it anyway for me, so that's. Because, like, I guess Amazon one day in, like, October ran a half off sale and she picked it up then, so. 
That's awesome. So then I got the Elite. I want to say 45. But then that might be too high. Or too, yeah, that might be too many series up. I know it's an Elite and it's around the 40. Um, white Seth Rollins from SummerSlam 2015. Love this. Finally have a non-shield Seth figure. And the new championship. Because I never got the uh, scratch logo of this belt. So to get the new network title, I guess. Network logo, big title. is pretty cool. Then I got something I finally have wanted from the beginning of the year when it came out. The NXT Greatest Matches Volume 1 Blu-ray. Uh, if anything, I bought this for the Blu-ray, or I didn't, I got this for the Blu-ray exclusives. And the uh, Cesaro versus Adrian Neville match from Columbus, the first uh, out of Florida NXT show. Had in the and it, the one um, exclusive would have been Punk Rollins versus the King of Wrestling. So very happy to get this because I've wanted this since it came out. So NXT my ish. And then Lego Dummy got a hobby box and I also got a twenty four pack like just a normal twenty four like retail pack whatever I guess. But uh. When I was open, cause like I wanted to open one up, and I wanted to open up like the big twenty four pack, which is like it's prop the camera. That's why I pointed that way. Uh, in front of like my family stuff, and then save one for a box break. Didn't look, just ripped into one. It was the hobby box. So by the time like I'd realized I'd opened the two hits, I was like, "Are you kidding me?" So, cause I wanted to do a box break. It was my first hobby box. I wanted to do a box break so bad. Didn't do it. And the only reason I got the other, like, 24 pack is because Tops was running a half-off sale, like, a week before Christmas. But my hits were pretty great, I'd say. Got a Charlotte 60 of 99 auto. And then, yeah, can't believe, like, this was the first one I pulled and I couldn't believe it. Becky Lynch kiss card, 68 of 99 was so happy when I saw that I got those two hits. Like, that was crazy to me. And then, I got uh, Star Wars Force Awakens 3D Blu-ray. Got the original Blu-ray when it came out. But then, saw this like a month ago and I was like, are you kidding me? But, parents ended up getting it for me anyway and it was pretty much a gift. My dad would got him self kind of because he's a big Star Wars fan. He's the breeze. I'm into Star Wars, so. But, yeah, just the cool interior there with like Han Solo and going into hyperspace. So, yeah. Got Force Awakens on 3D. Not much better than that. And okay, here's all the clothes. Well, I guess like shirts and hoodies, pretty much. I am just close. First thing I'm going to show you is the uh, Seth Rollins Redesign, Reclaim, Rebuild hoodie. Uh, Rollins has been my guy. I mean, I was like Rollins, a big Rollins supporter during the Shield and all that. I really thought Rollins was... <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, I thought Rollins was going to be the... Uh, God, they got left out of the shield push, but then he became the champion first, so I was happy. And then when like he got injured, that I was hurt by that. But then I got injured and did the almost exact same thing. Didn't quite tear my uh, LCL, but it was sprained. So. Was it MCL or ACL? Or MCL or LCL? Whichever one. I sprayed both of them. He tore one of them. I know that. And also. 
also. Hoodie I got. It's time just a regular hoodie. The Homage Ohio State Pride hoodie. Just I saw this and I was like, okay, that's actually a pretty cool one. And then my mom got like a sale like the week of Christmas, so luckily little oh, homage is based out of Columbus and it was easy to get here. Um and then Nike, just a regular Nike Ohio State red hoodie with the uh, like leaf design all in Ohio State, the Blocko logo, just, yeah. Another, this was a pretty good homage Christmas, I might add. I got three things from homage this year. Big Blue Nation Kentucky shirt. I mean, I, I know I guess it's like hilarious going from all in Ohio State stuff to Kentucky, but my whole family, my whole dad's side's from Kentucky. And then, like, I just remember watching Kentucky basketball games when I was little. So, and like how excited my family got. So that's basically how I became a Kentucky basketball fan. And then, like, my mom, like, had me every Saturday. I say that like my parents are divorced, but like she was just, I was watching Ohio State football with her every Saturday, so that's how I grew up that way. And then we got all my wrestling shirts. So first one we got, I'm gonna show, is the Seth freaking Rollins shirt. I mean, the, back this was back in like November. They were running a $15 shirt sale, so I basically told my mom, I was like, um, yeah, I'm gonna order three shirts because they're all 15 still on Amazon. We have Prime, so it was $15 free two-day shipping. Why not? So I just decided I wanted to go ahead, and this was after my uh, injury, of course. So Seth freaking Rollins shirt. The redesign revealed reclaim Seth Rollins shirt dig the new logo so I just had to get that one and then probably my favorite shirts my man I will never forget about Kevin the Kevin Owens show shirt Kevin Owens still my second favorite wrestler today had to get his shirt and then finally the last piece of homage merch I got and then I'm pretty sure the last thing well yeah the last thing Christmas I got was the homage NWO retro shirt. Uh, never had an NWO shirt, like for all the years shop has sold them. I saw homage had it, had to get it because homage, just the feel of their shirts is by far the best. Everybody talks about the uh, WWE throwback shirts that they put out, like for the retro pay-per-view logos and stuff. This is that feel, but even better somehow. This is, like, I, homage is expensive. They're $32 a shirt, but it's worth it, especially whenever they have sales. Go in, you pick everything up on sale. It, I love the brand homage so much. I have, I think these are my first, no, I have, these two are my fourth shirts, and that'll be my third hoodie from them. Love that brand so much and want to buy more they have the great they have a nice four horseman shirt i want to get but I, I this is becoming a shill for them but it's so i'm so happy to get a right an nwo shirt first off that's wrestling history right there like everybody was walking around with these or austin 316 shirts back in the day so it's wrestling history and it's homage like it's my hometown brand so it's nice to have so yeah this all my gifts. Um, like to thank you all for watching. Hope you all had Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever you celebrate. And uh, hope you all have a great New Year's Eve night. I stay hopefully taking down Clemson New Year's Eve night. Uh, yeah. So thank you guys for watching throughout the year. I want to do like two more videos, which is that unboxing and hope like maybe a year end awards. There's really like one award I just want to make a video about and put it as the year end awards. So, uh, yeah. Thank you all for watching.
thank you all for being with me throughout however long. There's like 30 people that watch every video, so that's awesome. I thank you all so much. And uh, I'll see you guys all sometime in the next week. Before New Year's, for sure. Because I do want to do the year-end awards. And if the unboxing doesn't come, whatever. See you guys later.